hello guys uh, welcome to road to iid so today we are going to learn the very important topic that is energy of a flow fluid flowing fluid okay so this is a very uh, important topic in the fluid mechanics because you are going to solve many uh, problems uh, many numericals based on that so mainly there are three types pressure energy potential energy and kinetic energy uh, inside the flu flowing uh, fluid okay so first come is pressure energy so what is the definition of pressure energy it is the energy possessed by a liquid by virtue of its pressure by virtue of its pressure due to pressure the energy possessed is pressure energy and the formula all we know is p into v that is the basic formula pressure into volume is the uh, formula for that particular kind of energy in the flowing fluid okay so this is the formula for pressure energy the second one is potential energy potential energy it is the energy possessed by the liquid by virtue of its height by virtue of its height that is uh, if you are considering any basic level or datum level then the uh, energy you see uh, that is a, some kind of a, a basic datum level or earth surface and if there is at element at height edge then we can say that it has some potential energy stored and the formula all we know is mg edge we learn this at the starting of uh, this fluid mechanics theory okay and the third one is very important it's kinetic energy as we know that fluid uh, fluid is flowing fluid so by virtue of its uh, uh, motion or its velocity as it is fluid so by virtue of its motion or velocity we have a part of energy that is kinetic energy and we all know it's half mv square this kind of energy is known as kinetic energy we all know this so now uh, you are thinking that why we are learning this why because we are going to learn a very important thing that is bernoulli's theorem bernoulli's theorem is a great uh, has great practical applications uh, throughout the engineering field and uh, in many applications so this is a very important uh, theorem so please uh, focus guys so first let's start with the basic thing let me draw a basic figure uh, of a pipe so we are considering a pipe which is uh, 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 through which a liquid is flowing so this is a section uh, this is one section the outlet section 2 and this is the first inlet section section 1 okay we are considering the uh, pressure velocity and uh, height at 1 is p1 h1 and v1 and at 2 is p2 h2 and v2 the basic notations are there this is height h1 and for point 2 it is height h2 we are not uh, going for the uh, formula derivation because it is not necessary we are going for direct basic a theorem and what is the formula okay so the basic mathematical formula uh, for Bernoulli's principle we can apply a Bernoulli's theorem at section 1 and 2 so uh, what is the basic definition of Bernoulli's theorem as per the Bernoulli's theorem the total energy total energy of flowing fluid that is just we learned that is pressure energy the first one is the pressure energy uh, plus the second one is potential energy that is mgh total energy is equal to pressure energy pv potential energy mgh plus kinetic energy that it, that is half mv square okay uh, per unit volume or mass of an incompressible and in -vis non viscous fluid is constant throughout the flow this is constant throughout the flow okay so this is the definition of bernoulli's theorem and uh, total energy pressure potential kinetic some constant okay so uh, this is throughout the flow if we know if we write the formula then it would be like this uh, p plus rho g h sorry pv pv plus mgh plus half mv square all the sum of energy is equals to constant now if we divide it by v so energy per volume so p plus rho g h plus half rho v square you got it is equals to constant and this is the Bernoulli's equation we know we divided by v so m by v that is rho density we learn this okay it's a density nothing but mass upon volume okay 
so this is uh, one formula for a uh, bernoulli's theorem and uh, let me write down the again uh, the basic stuff of the bernoulli's theorem so please do remember this and uh, one more important thing here uh, we can write the same formula by another expression it's not a different one we are just dividing it uh, through g also so m p by rho plus p by rho g plus h we divided by g also so m and g we divided by m by m and g so it becomes p by rho g plus h plus half v square by g is equals to constant this is a standard formula you can uh, remember any of that doesn't matter but uh, i prefer you remember this because it is in the form of head the p by rho g that known as a pressure head because if you uh, got the dimension then it will be meter uh, height also in meter that is uh, known as a gravitational head okay it is gravitational head v square by 2g it is also a head that is known as a kinetic head kinetic head if you got the uh, what we can say then it will be again meter so it's a kinetic head so through this we can get the uh, again a new definition that the sum of pressure head gravitational head and kinetic head sum of pressure head uh, gravitational head and kinetic head is constant okay so this is also a basic uh, again a same definition for uh, uh, bernoulli's theorem and this is the most important thing to remember because uh, too much example is going to be asked in fluid mechanics uh, from this particular theorem if you are uh, studying in uh, 12th or in engineering this is the most important imp uh, uh, principle to remember uh, thank you